In middle school, teachers often come up with unique, memorable ways to teach a lesson or to make a point. At Fargo's Discovery Middle School today, students reading the book Touching Spirit Bear got a taste of what the main character is going through. That story tonight from WDAY News reporter Kevin Wallivan. All right, so Cole gets mauled by a bear. Whose fault is it? Discovery teacher Mrs. Kowach knows how to surprise and inspire her sixth grade language arts students. I have crickets and mealworms for you guys to try. These are real crickets and real mealworms. You bring out the bugs. They are not alive. <laughs> this is my favorite unit, my favorite book, my favorite day of the whole year. Laura Kowach walked around her students with a cereal bowl full of dried crickets and mealworms. She just wanted to give the students a taste of what life was like for a book character named Cole. In the book they're reading right now, Touching Spirit Bear. What's that? I don't want to eat it. He ate raw bugs that squirmed and wiggled on his tongue, but um, it just kind of lets them delve into the, liter the literature in a literal way where they get to experience a little bit of what Cole dealt with too. Just a few students sat out the experiment, but most, with parent approval, went for it. Crickets and mealworms. A little Tuesday morning brunch. Yeah, it tastes like nothing. It tastes like the little Doritos. Now, a lot of the kids were grossed out by the texture. Tastes like chicken. In the end, a few slugs of water, some classic sixth grade reactions. All survived the buggy breakfast, and only two went to the nurse's office for post-cricket nausea. <laughs> Kevin Walvin, WDAY News. Something that we've never heard on the news before, post-cricket nausea. Those crickets had a light coating of smoky barbecue just to make it seem a little more normal. That's reporter involvement. <laughs> Pass the ranch, please. Impressive.